and welcome back to the channel guys. Today I am going to walk you through testing a TFI ignition, well basically your distributor to see if your pickup and your TFI module are working. So we are going to look at my 86 and we are going to uh, go through testing that. So the, uh, the last video I did we looked at the MSD box and I walked you guys through how to test that so we are going to do a quick video on testing our TFI module and our pickup to see if that is good that way you guys can learn along with me so let's get into it the first thing that we're going to do <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is um, loosen up our distributor so this procedure that I'm going to show you, we got to take our distributor out. So if you don't want to lose where the position of your distributor is, I suggest you mark it first. So mark it down here where the base of the distributor meets the block. And then take your cap off. And what we are going to do is look at where it's at and mark it. So we know that ours is pointing straight forward here. So what I'm going to do is mark on my distributor you can see right there, I don't know if you can see it or not. That right there, I marked where my distributor is pointing towards, okay? What we'll do is get some tape on it and we're gonna mark each edge of the rotor so that we know where we had that placed. So that right there is where we had the rotor facing. So now when we stab it, we know we'll get it right back where it was before. So that method works good. Now we've got to disconnect the distributor. There we go. And then we're going to pull this up and out. And you might have to fight your... Uh, there we go. It's a little stuck. Let's see, we'll have to kind of finagle it. Well, I just found my problem. So I checked with the manufacturer on the cam gear and they suggested this one that is clearly not the right one. However, since we are doing a video on checking the TFI module and also on checking the uh, pickup we are going to explain a little bit more about this okay so within your distributor you've got a rotor and this rotor is what delivers spark from the button or the coil out to the spark plugs and as that turns around it will give spark out to each individual cylinder this is from your coil so the ignition system um, your ECU is going to give a ground signal for the coil to fire. So on your coil, you've got one wire here that's positive and one wire that's negative. The positive is always hot, and then the ECU is going to give a negative signal as it runs through the TFI. So it's going to go into the TFI, out through the pickup, back out through the TFI, and then out to your coil. That's how the wiring works on these. So you've got an in through the TFI, out through the pickup and then out to the coil. So what I like to do is plug my TFI module in and then put my cap on right, so you guys can see. So we're actually going to set this up as if we were going to try to run it. There we go. So my distributor's on and the, uh, the middle wire for the coil is not hooked up to the distributor. So what's going to happen is the negative signal is going to go in through the TFI, through the pickup, and back out to the coil. Now, if it's working and you spin this, every time it passes a magnetic pickup, it will send a signal out to the coil to fire. So this is how we're going to test it. So I'm going to turn the ignition on. And we're going to check. All right, so after you get your distributor out of the car, you have to make sure that the base of it 
or the body of it is grounded. So I've just got jumper cables and I'm going from the, uh, the body of it over here to a ground point. Uh, now you have to do that because the distributor has to be grounded in order to give a good ground signal out. So once you have it like this, all you have to do is spin the shaft of the distributor. And if you listen closely, you can hear. So that is all the injectors firing. But also, I've got my spark plug set up here. I took this off of the distributor because I don't want to be firing all of the, um, uh, all of the spark plugs. So I just have one on the coil, and I'm watching this. So as I turn the distributor, you can see the spark clearly there. So the one thing that you want to be careful of here is if you do this too many times, obviously it's going to keep firing the injectors. You're going to flood the cylinders with gas. Okay, so we don't want to do that. But just enough so that you can make sure you're getting spark. Okay, so that's the whole goal of this. And it's a, a pretty easy deal. Take your distributor out, make sure you ground the body of it. Um, the other thing is that it will run the fuel pump if you have the relay in. So I've actually got my relay out now, so it's not running the fuel pump during this process too. Um, so whenever it's spraying into the cylinders, I don't have much pressure in there. So that's one, one way you can mitigate the amount of fuel that's sprayed in. So what we are checking here is our spark. There we go. So this verifies that our TFI module is good. It also verifies that our pickup is good. Now, if you get to this point and you're not getting spark, there's a couple of things to try. The, the easiest thing, is, so in my opinion, the easiest thing to do here is if you're not getting spark, replace your distributor. Most people aren't going to have the tools necessary to uh, replace the pickup inside the distributor. So to do the, the pickup inside the distributor, you have to remove the shaft here. So there's a cross pin that you have to take out. You've got to take your gear out. You've got to take this out. Shaft slides out. Then you can replace your pickup. Um, and then to replace the TFI module is pretty easy. So easiest thing, replace your TFI module, um, the pickup also. Now, I will caution you, if you do replace these parts, I would use a Ford Motorcraft replacement. If you do not, I have had many issues with other ones. I'm not saying they're not good. Maybe I just got a bad one. Uh, but just beware, the Motorcraft ones, the components are made better. They're usually more expensive, but you get what you pay for. And especially on your ignition module, just my opinion, I would suggest to go with the Motorcraft parts. All right, guys, so there you go. There's a quick and dirty way of testing your TFI module and then pick up in your distributor, see if it works. If you get to this point I mean, it doesn't work, there is a possibility you don't have a good ground, so I would adjust this, make sure that you know it's going to a good ground source. Uh, the negative battery terminal is a good spot. Um, my battery's in the trunk, so I didn't have that option. But make sure you've got a good ground. Make sure that uh, you, you've got your coil disconnected from the distributor so you're not going to be sparking all the cylinders because it would definitely not be good if you did that. <laughs> the engine's not running, and you're giving it fuel and spark, and it's got air, so you're obviously, you don't, you don't want to do that. So make sure that you have a setup similar to this. You just have right off your coil, um, right to a spark plug that is grounded somewhere and watch for spark. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. I appreciate you being here. If you guys are new to the channel, um, please click that subscribe button, hit the bell so you're notified of new videos. And also I have some merchandise. I have hats and stickers, and I also do some work with some Pi Dash stuff. If you guys are interested, check out the website. I'll put a link on the screen here, but also I will put it in the description. So if you guys want to follow that, that would be awesome. Have a good one, guys. We will see you on the next video.